Hey, we're Beth and Paul, and we are lost on Coronation Street. And we are, as we know you are, devastated by the recent passing of Deirdre Barlow, the actress Anne Kirkbride. She was definitely one of a kind, irreplaceable, and the street will never be the same. A great performance can affect you, and I have been affected. So, thank you. Maybe we'll get it right this time. Well, I promise you this. It won't be for want of trying. I made some parking a couple of weeks ago. Now is the optimum time to eat it. Parking? Parking, parking, parking. What the hell is parking? Do we even have that here in the colonies? I mean, what kind of sugary treat do you have to wait three weeks to eat? I don't know, but I wish I had some right now. I believe that that's my spatula. Does it matter? Anna, what's with the spatula -tude? The flippin' spatula -tude. All right. No milk. I'll buy an inch to the shop and get some more. Yeah, Kirk, you better run to the shop and get another eyedropper full of milk for everybody. Yeah, how many people are living there? What, 30? <laughs> Here in the colonies, when we buy milk, we buy it in big jugs and, and bags and, and big cartons and gallons. I think it's because they don't have any refrigeration there. Oh, they have refrigeration. Do they have? I don't know. They have refrigeration. Nearly done now, this. It's going to be gorgeous. I'm great, but I was just going to go for a chipper. I can explain. Uh, Maria, I think the first rule of your restraining order was not to break into Tyrone's house and make risotto. Unless you're topless. Right, do you want someone to drink? I've got white wine, red wine. Uh, yeah, have you got any rosé? Luke, honey, one of life's big rules. When life gives you red wine and white wine, yeah, make rosé. True. And fellas, here's another important skill that can come in very handy. It's the I'm not gay look, demonstrated here by our Callum. Pint of lager. I haven't seen you before. Yeah, dog and gun style. That's what I use. Straight to the point. Yeah, and that's why nobody ever buys you a drink. Uh Are there no blokes in the Tinker Clan? <laughs> yeah, well, I think they must sacrifice all the Tinker Men folk at Bingo or something. Uh, yeah, good luck with that, Craig. For many young people, the only way out of the Ginnels was to subscribe to Lost on Coronation Street.